Welcome to my new series on Unsplash. I really should be talking about all the free photography websites out there these days, but I'm really just going to focus on Unsplash and uh, we'll, we'll just touch on the other ones. Um, but anyways, before diving into my thoughts and my experiences on Unsplash, we got to talk about what it is. I just want people who stumble across this and don't know what Unsplash is to get a, a gist of, of what it's about. So let's get into it. If you don't know who I am, you never seen me before, uh, that's okay. I, uh, that's pretty much expected these days. I'm a small little vlogger here and I'm a full-time architectural photographer. I also give away photos for free on Unsplash and I was an early days employee at Unsplash as well. Um, I don't work for them now and this isn't, the series isn't anything sponsored by Unsplash or encouraged by Unsplash or anything like that. It's completely my own thoughts and experiences and, and that's that. So this channel is intended to help you with practical content for growing your own photography business and leveling up your relationship with photography. It's our chance to grow. Um, so I mean, if you're into photography in any way and want to do more with it, subscribe. All right, so what is Unsplash? Unsplash, what are you? What are you? What are you, Unsplash? What is this Unsplash you speak of? Unsplash is a platform where anyone can upload photos and anyone can download them for free. Yeah, free use, even commercially, and you don't even have to credit the photographer. Basically, we're talking about open source photos and high resolution. Now, if you're thinking that these are gonna be terrible, terrible, sucky stock photos that you've seen over and over again, you're gonna be wrong. These photos are actually beautiful and they're contributed by photographers and non-photographers as well. It's actually amazing how great the quality has been even from the early, early days. But now it's just, it's just unbelievable. You'll have to see it for yourself. I know, I know what you're thinking. What, what kind of site is this and how is this even good for photographers? I know the photography industry continues to be shaken up by this and decentralized and democratized. But is it really ruining anything for the professional photographer? That's something we'll get into in a little bit, but not in this video because it would take me way too long to try and talk about it. And we don't have that time. You don't have that time. What I want to do, I just want to flip this camera around and give you a look at Unsplash. I'll jump on my screen and we'll kind of just do a little tour. All right. How do we do this? Flip it, flip it good. Okay, so here's the homepage for Unsplash. They've got a website and I know they've got an iOS app, but I don't know if there's an Android app at this point. I haven't paid attention that much. That's pretty cool. These photos are actually hand curated as far as I know by actual curation team. There might be some kind of algorithm that's baked in here, I'm not sure. But this updates every single day and you can use these photos to collect them, like them, download them, you can see who did it, and search, right? Um, what else I'll show you is, um, I'll show you my profile and I'll show you my stats and then I'll show you kind of the history to kind of just give you a full look at it, a full understanding. And obviously you can go to the website and go into their history to further look at it and see what's happened over the years. 
Yeah, I, that's another thing. It's years. This site is over five years old now. So this isn't something that just launched. And there's big concerns. Very cool. Lots of great photos, obviously. See, you, you don't get your typical stock photos in here. A lot of photos are used by bloggers. Um, as far Let's take a look at my account. You can't see me too much. There I am. All right. Photos I've given away for free on Unsplash. Currently, on this account anyways, I have a second account that's just dealing with pineapples. And I'll show you that too. But you can see I have a total of 589 photos contributed to Unsplash so far. Um, and these are my interests to give you a little bio. And this shows a, a little badge that I was a nominee in the Unsplash Awards last year, which is which was pretty cool. Take a look at this stats. So over the, my time at Unsplash, my photos have amassed over half a billion views and we're coming up on 3 million photo downloads, which is amazing. Just like think about all the people you help that way. Anyways, you can, it's a pretty cool stats page and I think it needs, uh, it would be really cool if they gave us more stats, more information to dive deeper into, but this is cool. So you can see your views, likes, downloads per photo, and you kind of got your top most popular one here. Go on forever. It's interesting because you never know which photos are really going to take off and be needed by the community. So I'll show you as well my other account, which was a hack. I did because at the time there was no collections, no way to create a collection on the website. So I created a profile called Pineapple and the profile only shows pictures of pineapples. This profile, people actually love it when they find it. It's got 333 photos uploaded to it. So I don't know, that's over 800 photos, right? That I've contributed to Unsplash. And they're well received. I won't show you the stats on it, but it has some very, very, very popular photos. And I mean, if anyone needs a pineapple photo, they know where to go. Anyways, let's go over to the history part. So I've, I've scrolled down to kind of the bottom because I'll go up the date. May 27th, 19, 19, 13, 2013. And you can see what it essentially looked like in the beginning of a Tumblr theme. Oh yeah, just forgot to mention that this date is pretty impressive. A lot of great things get built starting on this date, May 27th. It's my birthday. It's Unsplash's birthday. I believe it's also WordPress's uh, birthday. Good to know, eh? Little fact there for Jeopardy one day. Okay, so Luke, he's one of the co-founders of Unsplash. He's building it and he became the first Unsplash team member. And legit, not too long after, they're starting to see 10 million downloads. At this point, they knew something was good here. <laughs> and took it off of Tumblr, started to build their own home. So here, in 2015, they started integrating their own search like I mentioned in Fast Company, they're starting to get talked about, right? And then in between here, this was pretty cool. This is where I started, April kind of thing. And, and I was the community, I was the community manager for almost a year. 
and it was a lot of fun. Um, Unsplash's birthday was actually an awesome first meetup, and I actually got a really good carrot cake at the bar too. It was really cool. Also started up the first Unsplash photo walk in Toronto, which was awesome. So, and then a bunch of photo walks have taken off after that, which is really cool. Oh yeah, and then the, there was the book, the Unsplash book. The first fully crowdfunded open source book. It was nice. I was actually featured in it as well. So I can say I'm published in the Unsplash book. I also helped get it started in behind the scenes, which was really cool. And these are a couple of my photos, the ones with the pink. You should just go to this page and see everything that's kind of happened for Unsplash and why it's so huge now. See that? December 2016, so two years ago. A billion photo views per month. That's insane. I mean, talk about where the eyeballs are. And then they actually incorporated Unsplash Inc. as its own company and started major focus on it, which is which is awesome. Unsplash API is, is super powerful. Unsplash awards, like Unsplash passes 10 photos, downloads per second. It's just dope. It's unbelievable, really. And then there's all kinds of partnerships that have just keep coming along. So, I mean, take a look at it for yourself. It's really easy, unsplash.com slash history. <laughs> Pretty dope. Well, that's my little explanation of what Unsplash is. And I hope you kind of understand it now and enjoyed the, the mini tour. I thought I'd need to show it just in case you didn't understand what I was kind of getting at. And regardless if you're just learning about Unsplash or you're already familiar with it, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it in the comments. If there's anything you'd like me to cover in the Unsplash series, also drop a note in the comments or on social. I'd love to know what you're kind of wondering about and maybe I can answer. Of course, this isn't the end of the series, it's just the start. So more videos are coming up and I hope that you stick around. Also, I'd love to hear some feedback on this video. The audio may be a little weird at this point because I'm just using the iPhone. Let's see how it is. I apologize if it's bad. And any feedback would be super great, super helpful and encouraging. It's all good. Now, I guess what I forgot last time was like a little outro thingamajig. So I just want you to drop the hammer on the like button and subscribe if you're not already. And apparently there's this little bell notification icon somewhere. And if you hit it, it you'll be notified of new videos I post instantly. So until next time, I just want you to stay golden.